Featuring a who's who of the world's film industry, this year's Toronto International Film Festival was as much about being seen as what was being screened. Who are you wearing? Valentina. It's beautiful. With that important question out of the way, many A-list celebrities from Brad <laughs> to Jennifer, Sandra and even Emma spent TIFF having a really good time in their favourite northern city. Miserable time here making this film, but mm, I love Toronto, I like your cranes. I want to do well for the Torontarians. Tonians. Tonitonians. <laughs> and those Torontonians appreciated the visit, as thousands of stars, their entourage and media called the city home for 11 days, pumping millions into the economy. But what's really priceless the red carpet gaffes. My mother is not a drunken bitch. <laughs> oh, we're live. I'm so sorry. I am so sorry. Needing no apology, the TIFF lineup. This crop of movies is being so declared as the strongest in years. Wow. I'm delighted to announce that the two today, the best of the best were announced. How could a man walk with four balls? The top Canadian feature went to Alan Zweig's When Jews Were Funny. Man does how he pleases with his property. Top overall prize in People's Choice. 12 Years a Slave, directed by Steve McQueen, starring and produced by Brad Pitt, who admits he joined the project to get the money for the film flowing. It was really strate strategic, yeah, me coming in. The Academy Awards are still more than five months away, but the Oscar buzz this year at TIFF has been deafening. In Toronto audiences know something about picking a winner. Past People's Choice Awards have included The King's Speech, Precious, and Slumdog Millionaire. Peter Ackman, CTV News, Toronto.